Hi, this is Nikki, and I'm here to share messages that I get from Spirit for all of us who are all on this journey of love. And um, I am going to do two card pull, one from each of these decks, one from the Enchanted Map and one from the Wisdom of Love Oracle. And um, we are going to find out what Spirit wants to know to help us and what Spirit wants us to tell us about our twin connections, what Spirit wants to tell us about what we should be focusing on, um, and what we need to know about the future and what we should be doing basically because each day is a new day each day is new energy each day is a new day to think okay what do I need to know today and there has been you know always really powerful messages to help us um, because we are here to create this new vibration of frequency and, um, you know, and to see, um, <laughs> let me just see, I've just got a note from somebody saying, uh, just as I was saying about like the, we've had messages recently about sewing and we're creating this blanket of love around the planet. And then I've just seen, um, that, a follower of the channel has sent me a message um, and she says I thought you might like to share my poem which I have called life's tapestry so here we go so many things we cannot see that make up life's tapestry they explain the story the plot and twist the details hidden that don't exist until such time they are revealed until that time they're locked and sealed oh Yes, let's all, can't wait for the time that all of our secrets are unlocked. They can come out. We can all share in them together. So let's have a little look, shall we? What the cards say to us today and um, what is going to, what do we need to know? What do we need to know? So the first thing is, what does Spirit want us to tell us? What do we need to know today to help us? And it is the moonlight. We have a new moon coming, don't we? The moonlight. So it's look for intuition. Look at what isn't, you know, behind the shadows, right? Not everything is out in the open. Not everything is ob obvious, especially in these connections. More than often than not, absolutely nothing is obvious. <laughs> so what else you are giving each other a leg up just know that on a soul level you are helping each other to grow you're helping each other to um heal helping each other to highlight all the things that need to be healed letting go of all the hurts um you know and working through everything that the shadow side basically we're working through our shadow sides so um, that's what we need to know. What do we need to be focused on? So first of all, what do we need to focus on? And it is letting go, letting go, letting go, letting go. And what do we need to be focused on in this deck? And it is following the light up the windy path. So we need to be focused on following our own light, letting go of stuff that we no, need to, no longer need to hold on to, and lastly, all in aid of what happens in the future. What can we look forward to in the future? And it is, oh, this is a bit brutal. Feeling that sense of, um, you know, basically as we go through these cycles, you know what? There are times that this feeling of feeling very alone, <laughs> but look, cause we're coming apart. Look at this. Oh, which tells me, buckle up, there's going to be another process that we're going through of letting go. And in the midst of that letting go, you know, we've had the deep freeze recently and the deep freeze and these cards saying coming apart from the old self um, and feeling that sense of being alone. So this tells me that there will be a period of feeling very cut off from your twin because in that time we are being told that we've got to help each other grow on a spiritual level and we've got to release 
and uh, this always goes in cycles because we are coming apart more and more to find our own light, to follow our own path. Um, and so it's just saying, be aware that that's on the horizon. So you may feel very cut off from your twin. You may not feel that energy so much, um, but it's all about having to grow in your own light, following your own path. Um, so that was on the talisman is on number 49. So I'm going to read the talisman because that's what we're doing. We are always shining a light into more and more love, shining a light for these connections. 49 is, oopsie, look what's just fallen off. Never give up. <laughs> so 49 is this. And it is the talisman, which is this. Wisdom allows you to recognize traps on the road and familiar patterns that you want to avoid. It also enables you to quickly gather information about where you are on your journey. Uh, it helps you recognize your allies and know how to find the best routes along the way. Now you're at a place where you know the right things to do and the best choices to make. You really can't make, make a mistake. Whatever your inquiry, great fortune awaits you, for you have the wisdom to arrive at the right decision. You have learnt your lessons and earned the right success. Which means that you've learned a lesson, a soul lesson, and you're ready to go on to the next phase. So however that has played out in your life, whether you've had a situation that's come round again, and you've looked at it, you've reacted differently, you've learnt, so obviously that life lesson is now settled, you can move on to the next one. And whichever way that plays out, right? Um, it doesn't have to relate to your twin, it could be in other areas of your life. So I am gonna read, that was number 49 on letter 139. So I'm gonna read letter 49 which is, here we go, letter 49. You are an ocean of love in my heart. You hold the key to the wisdom and passion of the universe, the secret to true love, the power of what the true love vibration can do to our bodies, our minds and our souls. It, you blow every other relationship I've had out of the water. I feel like I've fallen into, into the deep end and for the first time I'm learning how to feel, how to love, how to be in love. It's like I'm learning to swim for the very first time. I wish I had the courage to dive right in and get immersed in our love vibration. For us to go right in underwater, to go deep, to go all the way. That's what I wish I had the courage to do with you. But I'm scared, really, really scared of taking the jump. Okay, and then 139. So I've said before that my friend also is in a twin flame dynamic. And when I do Reiki for her, she also sees things. Um, but, and her dad is, is uh, on the other side. And um, so when, that's just when it's saying about the jump then. So they're in, in Gozo where we used to go. Um, there was a rock, a really big rock um, that my friend's dad used to push us in. And so it was like falling from a height. Anyway, in one of the sessions that I've done, a Reiki session for my friend, I've seen her dad push both my twin and her twin off this particular rock because they're frightened to jump in. So um, my friend's dad always says, don't worry, when it comes to it, I'll be the one that shoves them off, as in, they will get over their fear because I'll make them get over the fear. And I am alt that he is ultimately helping to bring the twins back to us in this physical realm. And it just made me laugh then because so when I saw that, I was like, oh, yeah, that's that's just bonkers. So um, letter 39 is this. I feel you next to me. It's almost like you are lying next to me. I can feel you put your arms around me and pull me close to you. I feel our bodies wrapped around each other. How is that possible? Why do I only feel this way about you? Why is it only you that does this to me, that makes me feel this way? I didn't think any of this was possible. 
I didn't believe that two people could connect so deeply that they could feel each other when they were physically apart. It's true, we are connected by the heart and soul. It's true, we are connected in a way that is so deep, I don't understand it. But I do know you are ingrained in my soul forever. Oh, oh. again, yet again, just wild. So I'm going to read, finish by reading the lovely lady's poem again. So life's tapestry. So many things we cannot see that make up life's tapestry. They explain the story, the plot and the twist, the details hidden that don't exist. Until such time they are revealed. Until that time they are locked and sealed. And then what was the letter talking about? The key and unlocking the wisdom. So <laughs> there's the connection. Always totally, totally, totally connected. So there we go. I really hope that message helps. If you would like to have healings, readings, channelings, or to get any of my books, these books, amazing way to stay on track, um, to strengthen the connection, then please do. All details are in the link below in the video. But in the meantime, I hope wherever you are, you have a wonderful day and I will be back tomorrow. Bye.